Always love the chance to talk football with you in front of the video screen here. We're going to talk offense out of the gate because Rashad Penny, and your lines help certainly, but Rashad Penny stole the show. 216 yards on the ground, 353 all purpose. You beat ASU 30 to 20. I'm going to let you pick the plays as always. You show me what you were impressed with. Well, obviously he had a great game. I think he was the difference in the game. What we're going to see is a, a play that we run all the time here against a pretty good athletic defensive team. What you'll see is Rashad get this ball and accelerate through a seam. That seam is not very big. He accelerates through that seam. Nick Bowden, our fullback, does a nice job of engaging the linebacker right here so that the linebacker can't make the play. And you see that nice hole that Rashad has there. Okay, now this is unfair. Okay, when you get a guy like Rashad out in the open field and there's only one guy to make the tackle, okay, there's no chance that he's going to make the tackle. And then I'm sure Arizona State has good speed. Uh, and as they chase him, you notice that he's just gaining ground. I mean, there's not a guy fast enough in the world to make up that distance. But uh, he had a great game, obviously. And then right there, he's checking the replay board because that's what they do now. That's how I they check traffic, the rear view I, camera? I didn't know this, but this is how they do now. So they don't look around to see if anybody's catching them. He looks at the board up here, <laughs> and then if he sees nobody's catching him, he slows down. See, watch him slow down. See him slow down right there? No need to rush it, no. drink it in a little bit, and he points to himself up on the board. Now, now you're going to see, and he's one touchdown away on kickoff returns from tying the all-time NCAA record. He's really good at this. Okay, but I'm going to show you some things. We're going to go to the end zone copy. You'll get to see this now, and this is fun to watch. Now, I'll show you some real tricks of the trade right here. These are two veteran guys right here. Okay, this is Tyler Morris. This is Nick Bowden, our fullback. They look, if you look at how they're looking there, it looks like they're going to block the guy this way. It looks like he's going to block the guy this way. So what that means to these guys is they have to escape this way. So now you'll watch them flip their hips, flip their hips and block them the opposite way that he thought he was getting blocked right there. And now you'll notice a block here. You'll notice a block here, a block here, and we got an extra guy that will pick up this guy. I mean, that's beautiful. That is really pretty. That's, that's guys executing a scheme and executing it perfectly. You know, when you talked about Penny earlier, you'd mentioned uh, his vision impresses you. In a situation like that, when you're looking at the kickoff return, how much is he relying on vision? How much is he just relying on having worked with these guys over and over again and anticipating where those blocks will be? Well, let's, let's go back and watch it once more. And, and I'm, I'm going to show you something that most guys don't do. Now, he knows that the hole is supposed to be over here. Okay? And his vision will allow him to cut back if the hole's not there. But watch where he goes. Watch how he sets this up. He starts running this way, which sets those guys up because they all are looking at him. He starts going this way, and they all start converging on him. Now he plants his foot and goes back this way, back to where the blocking is done, and all those guys are out of position. So he helps set up those blocks, too. 